Hello there, welcome to another session on JavaScript. In the last session, we were looking at an introduction to document object model. We were understanding the concept of child nodes and the document object model hierarchy. We were also printing the node names for all the child nodes within our body section. So if you have not visited my previous lecture on uh, document object model introduction, please visit it and come to this uh, lecture so that you get to understand things better. So in this session, we'll be looking at some more properties of the nodes like node value and node type. We'll also see how to browse and display the node names for all the child nodes that fall within a section, within a division. So let's uh, start off with this uh, demonstration. This is going to be a demo on some properties of child nodes, of nodes, we'll say nodes in the document object model and we'll also take up some small exercises let's start off with a simple web page and this is an introduction to document object model this is session two that's the title and inside the body of my web page i'm going to have some text say some text is written so this is a text node i'll have an element html element node here say uh, this is a heading and we'll also have a comment node. What is uh, the comment node? Say some comment is given. So we have some nodes here. One text node, one HTML element node, one comment node. Now we'll write some script to understand the properties of these nodes. Let's go with some script here. First, we are going to access all the elements and uh, we'll see their node names. This we have done already in our previous session, just uh, to recollect what we have done there. So let me access all the elements. How I access all the elements? It's document.body.childnotes. So here, child notes of zero, that represents this text node. So let's say node name. What is the node name for this? We'll write it to the web page. We'll call document.write. And we'll write this uh, node name for our first child inside the body to the web page. So you're, you're able to see ash text means the text node here. Now let's take a look at the node name for this element h1. So let me replicate this. So it is, it is the next child node. And you can see the node name h1 being populated here. So what is the next node that's coming in the list? Let's uh, Go to the next node. So it is the node 2. So you're able to see the output for uh, the node that occurs in index 2. It is nothing but text node. So what is this text node? It is the break that occurs after this element h1. So you have a break here that's taken up as a text node. And if you don't have this break, say if I remove this break, you'll be able to see that that specific node not even present in the output. So whenever you give a space or a break, you're going to have that to be populated as the hash text, a text node in your output. So this node that comes in index 2 is nothing but a text node that occurs after h1. And what is the node that comes next? It's a comment node. Let me access the comment node. It comes in index 3. So what is the node name for the comment node? It is hash comment. And what's coming after the comment node, it is a text node. You can see we are giving a break here. So let me access this node. So what comes after the comment node? So you're able to see that you are having hash text, which represents a text node. So if you're going to give a space or a break, you're going to have that to be a text node in your output. So after the text node, we have the script coming in. So what is the node name for this uh, element? Say it occurs in index 5. The node name for the script node which occurs in index 5 is script. So we have printed the node names for all the nodes inside our body section. Now let's understand the next property of a node that is node value. What node value returns? So let's take a look at it. Say, let me write everything to the web page. So I'll call document.write. And now I want to write the node value for this text node. So it is document.body.childnotes. And it's a very first uh, 
node inside the body section and uh, the property we are going to look at is node value so what is the node value returned here for this text node is it is the text some text is returned as getting return so node value for a text node will return the text itself node value for an html element node say let me access the html element what is the node value for an html element it is null so node value for an html element is null let me access the node value for this comment node comment node comes under the index 3 so when i access the node value for the comment node what is that is getting returned that is the text within that comment node some comment is given so what is the node value for the document node the node value for the document node is nothing but document dot node value and it is null what is the node value for document dot document element that is the html element so it is document element dot node value the node value is null so what is that we understand here is for document node the node value is null for document element that is the html node the node value is null for text node the node value is the text that is a part of the node and for an html element it's always null say h1 p div for html element it's going to be null and for a common node the node value is going to be the comment so that's about the node value property let's take a look at the next property for the nodes node type what is a node type so let's access the elements one by one let's check the values populated in node type for a node so it's document dot let's access the child nodes within the body so it's a child nodes of zero dot node type so now what is the node type for a text node it is three what is the node type for an html element node the element nodes will have a node type to be one so let's refresh you see here this is document dot child nodes of one this follows in index one so the node type for this child node which is an html element node or you can say it's an element node that's one what is the node type for a comment node the common node comes under index three the common node node type is eight what about document node what is the document node node type value so document dot node type so you'll see document node as the node type value to be 9. What about document dot document element, the HTML node? So it's document dot document element dot node type. So the node type for document element is like the HTML element, right? So it's 1. So that's all about some of the node properties. What are the node properties we have accessed here? Node names we have seen, we have seen node type and we have seen node value. Are you clear with this? The next thing we are going to take a look at is how to access all the elements from within a child node that's present within the body section. So let me put up all the elements here within this div section. So we're going to have all these elements. These elements are nothing but child nodes of the div section. See, this text node, this h1 and this comment node they are child nodes of the div. Div is the child node of the body section. Now our objective is to access all the child nodes of this div element. How to perform that within our script. Let's take up this exercise. So we are going to first access all the elements of the body section. For that we can give constant a is equal to document dot body dot child nodes so we are accessing all the child nodes from the body and uh, we will traverse through the child nodes that are present in the body so we will perform this using a very simple for loop for let i of k we are traversing through the every child node and how is that we check if that child node has some children so we are going to use this property if i has child nodes if this returns true it means that that specific node we are in has some child nodes if i has child nodes and there's one more check we have to do whether that is a div element if i dot node name dot local compare see node names are always strings written in capital letters so we have to compare that with a div and that should be equal to zero so if this is the case what we can do is 
if the node name is div and it has child nodes so what is the next step we have to get all the child nodes of that element so we'll say constant c is equal to i dot child nodes get all the child nodes of this div and then we have to again traverse using a loop for let uh, j of c traverse every child node and then you print the node names for the child nodes and uh, while you're saying print you have to write it to the document document dot write j dot node name so you're able to see the output to the right hash text here is the very first text node and h1 here represents this html element h1 hash text here is nothing but the break that comes after h1 and hash comment is this comment node and hash text is the break that comes after this comment node so if you're going to remove all the breaks you're not going to have this text and this text in your output so what is that we have seen in this demo is uh, we can get to an element check if it has child nodes check the name for that element and we'll also be able to traverse through the child nodes of that element so it's like traversing the child nodes of an element which is actually a child node of the body and that's it that's all about this simple demo i hope you were able to follow this i hope you were able to follow the other things we have discussed that is the properties of the nodes node name node type node value and how to traverse nodes within the dom hierarchy and access the property of the nodes so we'll be carrying forward with all the other concepts in the next session if you have any questions leave your comments below and that's it for now take care